Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Sandy Star Tarot. And first of all, I would like to thank you all for supporting my honest star reading. And it feels like uh, the last three months of 2018 are going to be transformative and uh, it carries certain uh, strong, um, a little bit heavy energy. And so I decide to bring back this whole scroll tarot reading for you. And it also includes a pick a card uh, reading at later part of this video so please stay tuned and uh, so this uh, is about uh, those who have uh, Sagittarius energy let's look at what's in store for you in October it feels like uh, maybe uh, Sagittarius you may be dealing with authority maybe a father figure maybe someone who is mature this can be uh, your senior at work and this person is like playing with words and trying to be very smart with their words with their speech and sometimes and keep it can be confusing because this authority this authoritative figure this uh, authoritative figure can be uh, from your company it can be uh, from your friend circle it can be uh, from your family members yes it can be from a romantic relationship and uh, this person changed their words playing with words and trying to be smart and and uh, if it is authoritative figure who uh, who is like uh, uh, imposing something maybe uh, who take charge of policy if this authoritative figure who is take charge of the uh, policy he or she is going to change the words, change the policy, change the regulations from time to time in a very short uh, period of time. And so you are trying hard to adapt to their policy. And uh, it is like, okay, one minute, this figure, this authority say something like this. Okay, next minute, it completely changed to a different direction. And so um, it's like, manipulatively manifesting something like um, it's causing a little bit of chaos causing a little bit of uh, trouble in your life um, so uh, sometimes get prepared it's better to have a plan B so that you are able to adapt to this kind of constant constantly changing policy all right so uh, also, if this person is interested in you, he or she is going to change the words quickly. And then uh, it can be very confusing. You are not sure whether this person likes you or not, whether this person likes you or your friends, because it's like uh, m manipulating a lot of people uh, in order to confuse you. And so uh, you need to really, really uh, really listen to your intuition instead of their words, all right? Because their words, it's for them to manip manipulate something or manipulate you. Um, Yes, you will feel like, yes, this person may be pursuing me, but is this person pursuing someone else? Also, because you might catch this person looking at other people or pay attention to other single person, single people as well. So it, it can be very confusing. Now, please pick a number. And then pick a number from one two three okay one two three these three numbers pick one and now i will tell you number one what are the main energy for the people who pick number one let's see okay yes that's why you are feeling very very tired emotionally physically mentally tired it's because the person keep changing their words and playing with words and 
try to confuse you. So it feels like it's better that you take a rest. Yes, even though uh, you like this person, maybe you work with this person, uh, but I feel like uh, some of you really need to take break, take a take a rest. Mm, let's see what else you can do. What else for people who quit number one can do in this situation? Okay. Keep an open mind, yes, to keep an open mind, to see their personality. Even though they may be mature, even though they are in a very top position, they sometimes they are, they are also human. They are also human beings. So, uh, yes, when there are some new policies, new ideas coming up that confuse you, you just keep an open mind and try not to really step into not not let your heart fall deeply into that if there's a love interest all right because uh they may not be so sure about what they want that's why it's so confusing so keep an open mind and also maybe the card asks you to to be flexible because uh sometimes the the person that are destined for you may not be your usual type may not be the one that you you have on the mind in mind so yes yeah, so keep an open mind it, the universe works in a very very interesting way sometimes uh, when you understand the person well you may find out that that person actually carries something that you really like it reveal itself later on okay for the people who Choose number two. Here's the main focus, main energy for you. Let's see. Okay. Knight of Tea Cups, Knight of Cups. Someone may have feelings for you, yes. Just like the, the three cards indicate. Mm. They may be walking towards you but they are like controlling their feelings. I see some kind of controlling, control of feelings. And um, yes, mainly about the control of feelings. It's better for you to start being friends with this person first. Let's see how to deal with this person. Free yourself, yes. Free yourself because uh, this person may play, uh, play a lot of tricks and may confuse you, uh, may keep you in a, in a, in a puzzle. So uh, it's better that you do not let this person control your mind, emotion, your feelings, your, your time. All right, so try to set some time and space uh, for yourself and spend some time with your friends when you are very balanced when you take your mind away from this person When you let this person figure out on what to do and uh, if it is real feeling true feeling and he will He will he will let you know later on so don't rush into things uh, Don't be so uh, Focused on their words. Don't be so focused on what they say to you and sometimes uh, you need to take back your own life control. You, you need to control your own life. Like um, do something for yourself, do something with your friends instead of focusing on this one person. Okay, let them take time off to, to sort things out, all right? Okay, now it comes to the people who pick number three. Here is the main focus, the main energy coming to you. Okay, Knight of Wands. All right, so it feels like uh, the people who pick number three, you may be traveling with a friend, but this friend or this person that travel with you and taking you somewhere is very controlling, a little bit manipulative. And uh, like if you are traveling in a vehicle, uh, he or she is the one who drive 
and you do not get to the driving seat often okay uh, it's about control um, also it's about controlling where to go what to do okay the person that you work with or the person that you date will be very controlling very assertive and very appear to you like a very uh, like what to do what kind of activity where to go and it's all planned out for you if you like uh, you like that 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 is a good thing um, you you have to see uh ask this person why uh uh he or she has this plan okay ask ask this person why and you may understand the reason why uh they they plan out everything for you assuming that you like it okay ask them uh try to uh uh like in a going somewhere on the way to somewhere you ask them why and try to understand them uh, maybe they feel like they take care of you all right so they plan everything but they they don't know that you will mind about this okay so talk to talk to them about this so i hope you enjoy this reading see you next video bye bye